Welcome to my designer shoe collection. 2023, the last time I did one of these videos was I think two years ago. I would just like to stop this announcement to formally apologize for my hair. Don't even ask me what happened. I hope to learn from my mistake. And I've since moved countries. So these are the ones that made it through the move and that I've bought whilst being here. <laughs> So I hope you enjoy this video. The links to all of the shoes will be below or in the shopping prompt on the screen. I saw tomorrow do a version of this and I really enjoyed the format of it. So I'm going to be doing a voiceover while trying on all the shoes for you. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down that subscribe button on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Grab a snack, grab a beverage, you're going to need it. Let's jump into it. Starting off strong with the Renee Calvilla Clio heels. I'm a big fan of these. Oh, they just go with everything. They're also perfect for like wedding guest vibes or even bride. Mm. Anyway, these ones have the flared heel, which is a bit different to the normal ones that have the stiletto. They come in so many colors. They're sexy and elegant. Amina Moadis, you're going to be seeing a lot of them in this collection. These ones, I can't remember the official name. They are lilac. They've got these crystal wraparound ties for the ankle. Um, Amina Moadis is generally very comfortable, sensible heel height. These ones, however, are my problematic pair. Okay, you've got these, I think they're like a pony hair, something or other. Anyway, if you look on the left shoe, you see that dangle? Yeah, well, that's not meant to be there. Those crystals are hanging on for their dear lives. I need to actually get them fixed. These are the Fendi First sandals, and I was shocked with how comfortable these are. Very, very easy. You will last the whole night in these. These obviously have this sort of tri-colour metallic strap situation going on, and then you have a sculptural interesting heel. These are the Amina Mwadi Oya sandals. They have a clear PVC strap that goes over the toes to keep you in there. And then it's got a crystal toe ring. These are basically just a twist on your normal strappy black heel. These are fabulous and very special because what's that under the, on, under the right foot? It has been signed by Mr. Christian Louboutin himself. It says to Cassie with heart, C slash Louboutin. Um, there was a sax event where he was signing shoes and I waited in that queue for almost three hours to get these done. These are the Queen Luby heels in the velvet. The velvet actually means it's really nice and cosy on the toes and they look just very sexy. Going from that to a sensible pair of heels that you would meet your boyfriend's parents in. Uh, these are very obviously Chanel. These are spring summer 2022 white with black cc's they came in three heel heights this was the mid-range heel height and to be honest with you i've worn them more than i thought i would these are new ferragamo oh she's strappy lots of straps across the front and then a skinny little uh sling back to hold your foot in there there's something very elegant and sexy about her these are my sugar daddy heels okay these are she's not paid a cent of rent money in her life uh, and there's a time and place for her. You know, she's very Miami. These are by Cassidy. These are the Flora heels. These are Aquasura and on the platforms, you've got these pearls and studs. There's something very feminine and cute about them. They're also very comfortable and they're velvet. These I got at Bista for a nice little discount, Bista Village Outlet in the UK. These are by Gina. And I like that the crystals are monochrome. So the crystals are black, the shoe is black. It still sparkles, but maybe not as sparkly as if they were white crystals. Oh, you know, I love these. These are my ride or dies. These are my Prada flame heels. I want to say 2018. They are a reissue of a 2012 version. Black patent wedges green flame details oh my gosh she looks like she's wearing hot wheels on her feet vroom vroom she is off right i mean she's looking fabulous my newest uh pair of shoes to the family these are sergio rossi acrylic wedges you've got a green satin mule and then the wedge is a lucite with a bit of green fading into it she's very juicy she's giving spring summer I love these Tom Ford wedges with like this weird cut out and you know metallic thing happening at the back. Decided to go for them in purple. They did come in other colors, but I don't really have any shoes this color. So I thought, why not? Oddly comfortable considering that they are, you know, th there's an arch there, they're quite high. Love these, very much a statement. Okay, not necessarily luxury, but these are Castagnier wedges. And if you want a wedge that you can last all day in, and these are the most comfortable wedges like ever, 10 out of 10, look at these. Decori Lust Mules. She's Eva Longoria and Desperate Housewives. She is 
elegant and sassy and she means business and I love them and they're in these green metallic. These are the Amina Mwadi Lupita Mules in green crystals. Obviously I love crystals, obviously I love green and they're cute and fun. Oh, these are my Cinderella shoes. Okay, these are the Dolly Mules by Louboutin and they come in lilac crystals, which is obviously what I went for here. I actually went a half a size bigger in these, so keep that in mind. They are a little pinchy on the toes, but they do look great. These are the Decori Sienna platform mules. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with the heel on this because it's got this crystal ring in the middle of the heel. Oh, love it. Platforms, this saturated blue, she's fun. Okay, the Mac and Mac heels that everybody knows about. These are the first version. So you see how the heel, the straps cross at the back. That caused crystals to rub off. And, you know, if you look close, it does look a bit messy. The new versions of this, they've changed so that the straps don't cross at the back. So you don't have that problem. Um, so if you buy them now, you, you shouldn't have that issue. But they do look great. They're fabulous. These are a pair of Louboutins that I got at a Louboutin sample sale. When I tried this on for this video, I remembered why I hardly ever wear these, and that is because they are insanely painful. That PVC is digging into your foot, let me tell you. You've got this sort of smattering of crystals at the toe. She's fabulous, but she hurts. On the PVC train, these are the Amina Mwadi Begum heels in pink PVC. She is serving very much Barbie core. She is Margot Robbie in the Barbie movie. These are the same, pretty much, but in a grey smoke. And this was a collaboration between Amina Mwadi and ASAP Rocky's, like, creative something or other, Orgy. Anyway, it's got this spiky little butterfly on it. Then you've got the classic Amina Mwadi's in this sort of tan um, suede, really comfortable, really easy, goes with a lot. And still on Amina Mwadi, the Gilda Mules in blue glitter. They, these I really like with um, jeans, actually, because she just gives a little bit of a little bit of unexpected sparkle. Manolo Blahnik Hangisis. This is basically on everybody's designer shoe bingo card. These are very Elwood's appropriate. I could see her getting married in these. Maybe she did at the end of the second film, and I've simply forgotten. But these are very much her. I mean, a classic for a reason. Okay. These are the Fendi cutout pumps. They look great. They've got a lovely little snout on them. I love the cutout in the heel. They actually aren't that comfortable, but I did put a gel insert at the ball of the foot and that's helped things a lot. So I can last a lot longer in them than I, than I did, but they're so fabulous. Okay, these get me every time because they are so underrated. These are the Attico Venus heels. You've got this tie up the ankle. These are obviously an orange crystal. There's something about this that gives me like 1950s pin up or like Dita Von Teese vibes. And I love them. They are extremely comfortable and very underrated. These are Gucci platforms. I love them. They've got a little tiger head on the front. They've got a spiky little detail at the front of the shoe. I mean, uh, it's, it's a nautical stripper. She is a statement. She wants to be seen. Still on the platform vibe, Valentino Tango platforms. These are popular for a reason, because once again, they are a shoe that goes with everything with skirts, with jeans, with whatever, with a wide leg pant, I don't know, with shorts. And um, I obviously got them in the black patent. Then we move on to the iconic Bratz Versace Avitas shoes that are a commitment to walk in because they are heavy. Do you see that dangly little Medusa? She's dancing for you. Clap for her, please. And then you've got these, uh, the crystals on the ankle strap. I love them. Okay, Renee Calvilla flat sandals in like an ombre greeny blue situation. I really don't wear these as much as I should because I prefer other sandal styles now, but they are beautiful. I am an Iran girl, okay? As basic as it is, I get it. They're easy, they look good, like they come in so many colours. These are goat skin, I believe, and silver metallic. They're very comfortable. These are two-tone orange suede and then light blue leather on the on the base, whatever that is, the technical term. I just like these. I also like that they're quite slim. And then we've got a shearling version. Are they ridiculous? Yes. Okay, would we call this a pistachio? Would we call it a mint? I don't know. They're comfy, they're cosy. You know what? They're actually very good. They're very comforting. You put them on and you feel like, oh, you know, I'm having a great time. I'm just in the comfort of my own home, even if you're on the streets. These my dad bought for me at the airport years ago, like, oh, well over 10 years ago. Still kicking. I love these. These are very easy, very like slim Chanel slides, perfect for the pool or the beach. 
I like them. I also like that they're navy and white. Okay, moving into the sneakers. Uh, these are the Gucci Ace Crystal Platform sneakers. They've stopped doing these and I'm very sad about it because they're just so fun. They are just a normal Gucci Ace sneaker and then, oh my gosh, is that a crystal studded platform? Why, yes it is. You know, it's just a bit extra for the everyday. These are the Gucci, I can't remember the name of them, but they are very light. They're chunky. If you look closely, you can see that they do have Gucci details. These are obviously the all white version. These are the Prada double wheel sneakers. If you want sneakers that are comfy, do not get these. They look great, but because they're nylon, they don't give or soften up at the back. So that thing is digging into the back of your foot and they will never improve. So you've either got to put one of those like gel inserts or hope for the best. These are Chanel trainers and they're great. Very light, very comfortable. Go with a lot, easy to run around in. They're a sort of like runnery style. They have done these in newer colours since this. I think this was the first time they came out and I love them. Can't say any any more good things about them. For these, they now do where there's, on the back of the foot, it's a shot on one foot and a nail on the other. I don't know why they've done that. I much prefer how they did it for this version. White and blue, designer Air Force Ones. Oh, you know, I love her. These are the Dior B27s from the men's collection. They don't do this colorway anymore. Mine look like they need some TLC. I really should invest in that so they can last me a bit longer because I'm obsessed with these. They're comfortable, they go with everything, they're easy. These are actually sort of the women's version of those shoes. These are the Dior One sneakers. Um, white, white oblique, and then you've got these little gold details all over the shoe. My issue here is, is that these are constructed much more robustly than the other ones in a way that like you really need to break these in for these to be comfortable. Whereas the B27s are just comfy straight off the bat. These are the Amiri MA1 sneakers, and they're just a sort of neutral platform sneaker. Very comfy, love these. I prefer wearing these when I have maybe like a trouser that needs a bit of length. They go with so much, easy to run around in, would recommend. Okay, again, another very comfortable sneaker, especially if you're somewhere like New York and you need to be, and you'll be walking a lot. The off-white out of office sneaker, she's gonna stand by you. She's a ride or die, comes in lots of variations, love. The Celine CT01 high tops, they're extremely comfy. However, they are very softly constructed. So like once you put your foot in them, you can physically see the shoe spread out, which I'm not a fan of, but other people might enjoy. Nevertheless, very comfortable. Oh, I went crazy for these. I probably called up every single day to every single Chanel store in London to get my hands on these. And let me tell you, determination it pays off kids <laughs> i think these are like 2015 spring summer um i'm obsessed with them okay paris texas boots in this python print you can have them high up or you can scrunch them down i like that i like that they're not too sort of structured and hard so you can do this um really easy heel height to walk in i really like these and a great shoe brand in general these are also paris texas these are serving very much the Rainbow Fish, if you ever read that book as a child. This is also giving bachelorette party, sort of hen do, which I'm now seeing. I don't wear these very much, um, but they do look fabulous. These are the Valentino Tango boots versions of the pumps that I have. Bit of a stupid purchase because whenever I would wear the boots, I would also wear the pumps. They're very, very similar. They're also very tight around the foot, so keep that in mind. I love these. These are Prada ankle boots with these orange details. They're giving very much motocross and I've never seen motocross in my life. So of course I would think that. Best outlet deal I've ever got in my life. 90% off at the Gucci outlet, Bista Village. Thank you very much. You do not need anything else with these shoes. All black outfit, hit it with the shoes. Oh my gosh. Serve a moment, get everybody talking. Oh my gosh, are those the Gucci? Yes, they are. Newest boots to my collection, these are Fendi Spring Summer 2023, and I love them. She looks like uh, Mrs. Incredible. She is fighting crime. She's taking names. She looks like she belongs on the Cartoon Network, um, and I'm a fan of it. They're really fun. They're very comfy as well, which is great. Again, not necessarily luxury, obsessed with them. These moon boots, I'm so glad I finally got myself a pair, because when I'm in the cold, I feel fabulous. I feel very adorable. I feel very cute in these and they are extremely warm and cozy. 
These are over the knee Maximara like knitted boots. Uh, I mean, I don't, I, I, I don't know why I bought these. To be very honest with you, they descend, they roll down. Now looking at them, I'm like, are they even that nice? I don't know. Okay, Chanel wellies. Are they rubber wellies with a Chanel logo on them? Yes. <laughs> They are also very comfortable, okay? I, I actually, I, I really like them and I wear them a lot more than I thought that I would. Especially because, you know, it rains here in New York. It rains a lot in the UK. They're very handy, I will give them that. Okay, another pair of Chanel boots that actually proved to be extremely practical. So you're like, oh yeah, great winter boot here. The CC on the um, sole of the shoe, actually you can turn it so that it has snow spikes. So yes. She is super practical. She's going to get you through that snow and she's going to make you look fabulous while doing so. But uh, very warm. They're also shielding lined, which is great. Are you kidding me? I forgot my Renee, Cal my beloved Renee Calvilla Clio boots. How dare I? The best boots in existence. 10 out of 10. I wear them into the ground every single autumn winter since I've had them, which is about two years now. I'm obsessed. Best sodding boots you can get. And finally, the finale, Jimmy Choo, Timberland collaboration. You've got to keep that dangly tag on it, apparently. Okay, I, I don't make the rules. You've got crystals along that thing at the back. I don't know. And you've got the crystal trim. The crystal trim just really makes it stunning. They're over the top. They are like something from a JLo music video and I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this shoe collection. If you lasted this long, please leave a little shoe emoji in the comments. <laughs> Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And in the words of my father... If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.